So I've got a 394 here, and I'm kind of doing this on the fly, but I happen to have a chain tensioner. But these darn things slip out. I, I've, I've shown this on the 262s, so this type of thing is going to be relevant here as well. Um, the overall problem with these is that there's a little tiny rubber piece that actually goes in here, and it when this goes in, that rubber piece sits there and it grabs right here on this threaded piece. So it makes it so this whole thing won't fall out. Well, if that part rots away, as rubber does, it disappears. It's gone. So then what? Then this falls right out and you're out apart. Uh, not to mention the fact that you're chain isn't tensioned properly and all the bad stuff that comes with that. So here's the thing. So this goes in there, the paw goes in like that. But if you don't have that rubber piece here, then this falls right, this can go anywhere and this literally can, as it unscrews, as it, it, it vibrates, it just vibrates right out. So um, the more permanent solution is to find an E-clip Let's see if I can get this to work. You can modify the case if you want, but maybe I don't need to. No, I'm not that lucky. I am that lucky. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Um, I believe this is a 3 16 E-clip. Now I happen to have an E-clip assortment here, which I highly recommend. Um, they're really cheap. You can get them from, uh, I think I got mine from Pep Boys, but I think you can get them from uh, uh, Harbor Freight, too. So let's see if this works. That's cool. Put that in. Put the ball in. Let's see if this E-clip clips right around there. Ha! Now that doesn't go anywhere. That's beautiful. On some of the 262s, I need to modify the case to allow it this, that, this to fit, but... If there's pressure on it, is it a problem? Absolutely not. Beautiful. Perfect. Now we can put our bar plate down. And the bar plate will more or less hold this whole thing together. And this bar plate's kind of shot, so I think I got a different bar plate. Anyway, just want to show that quick tip, quick trick. Um, any other saw that has this type of uh, tensioner on it can uh, can use this type of method. So see if you can fit a, a little E-clip in there. If for whatever reason the E-clip fits in the slot, but you need to have the diameter of this be a little bit smaller, just take your Dremel tool and go all the way around. Or a lathe, I mean, if you had a lathe, great, but um, you can just gently kiss it all the way around uh, with your Dremel tool and uh, and lessen the diameter a little bit. These don't take that much force, so taking a little bit off is not going to be that big of a deal. So it's not like you're really muscling this. You, this is not a a muscle type of uh, device. It just tensions the chain until you can get the bar nuts down. So anyway, um, hope you like this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.